Libra Terrace, Jupiter in the sixth house. The greatest evils are indicated by Jupiter in this house, for he will expose the native at birth, especially if he is the ruler of the sign in which the ascendant or on the MC. This is especially true if it's in a nocturnal chart and he is in opposition to the sun, Saturn, or Mars, or in a square aspect to the waning moon, or in the same sign with her. But if he is an aspect to the waxing moon without unfavorable aspect to any other planets, the evil is to a certain extent lessened. In this home, he is to make goldsmiths of those who adorn clothing with gold, sometimes silversmiths, and even with these arts, he is often indicated reversals of fortune. For in this house, the six has its own special allotment of evil. And whatever planet is in that house acquires great force for forecasting evil from the nature of that house. Jupiter in the seventh house, that is of the descendant in a diurnal chart, indicates wealth and happy happiness at old age. By night, he changes drastically the house of marriage and children for the native will lose a beloved wife or see the death of children late in life however he will receive an increase in income not very large but enough to keep him from want jupiter in the eighth house often destroys income makes great enemies and often stirs up revolutions among people he involves the natives in evil activities and makes them of low class they voice stupid hostilities, are unreasonable with a temper in which most amounts insanity. At this especially true if there is a malefic planet one of, on one of the angles. But if Jupiter is in this house, has Mercury with him, or is in a trine aspect to the waxing moon in a favorable aspect, it will make administrators account keepers for kings and royal heralds, but they will die at an early age. Jupiter in the ninth house in a diurnal chart will make the interpreters of their gods able to foretell the future with some some will follow professions of the priests, others will have duties in temples, but sometimes this combination indicates losses and fevers in the mind. Jupiter in this house by night makes dreamers of false dreams and often tells lies about the gods. He also makes those who promise some hope to themselves from drawing lots who think they are divinely inspired by this activity. Jupiter in the 10th house, that is the MC, by day makes heads of public businesses, leaders of important states, men on whom great honors are conferred by the people, anxious to be conspicuous for popularity, for they enjoy a good living. Some carry on the affairs of great men and emperors, and others receive rewards and prizes throughout their life. Jupiter in this house indicates the greatest good fortune if no other malefic planet is on the IMC. But if one is, whatever honor or wealth was accumulated in early life will be diminished, wasted, or completely destroyed in later life unless the descendant is strengthened by a benefit planet. But if Jupiter is in the 10th house by night, he makes the natives honorable in character, but easily cheated, and their inheritance is awfully quickly wasted. The greatest good fortune and the greatest fame, console the promise of power, is results from Jupiter in the 11th house. If the sun and Venus are in favorable aspect, and if the full moon moving away from the east while Jupiter is in the north is in its aspect, that is, if she's on such a course, it's described in the connection of the 5th house. In a nocturnal chart, this is dismissed as a loose effect. If Mars is in an unfavorable aspect in the 8th house, all honor and position which was gained will be changed in a wretched reversal of fortune. Greater misfortunes are indicated by Jupiter in the 12th house. He always makes enemies who frequently exercise power to hinder the native's activities, especially if a malefic planet is on the ascendant. Mars on this descendant, descendant will bring about a violent death. The evils will be greater and the calamity stronger if the Sun and Saturn are in opposition to Jupiter. 
The natives will be wretched and poverty-stricken if the waning moon is in opposition to Jupiter in this position by night. If neither the sun nor Saturn are in opposition, hold favorable locations in the chart. The waning moon is not moving towards Jupiter. This will make skilled craftsmen. They will either be workers in gold or mosaic, silver platers, or silversmiths. If Venus is in the favorable aspect, they will be sought out and praised for their skill. I always look carefully at the Ducatamatron of Jupiter so that you may discover the strength from it. Thank you for listening. Uh, Jupiter in the houses and the aspects. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.